Hello everyone. Today my topic is route. So let's take an example. That what is route? In Kubernetes or OpenShift, first we create a deployment, and after that we can add the config map or secret with the help of environmental variable, right? And obviously all these deployments have some pods, which will be managed by the replica set, right? If we want to access the application which is running inside this container, or you can say that which is running inside this pod, we create a service, right? We have different type of services, but these services are forwarding the traffic to pods with the help of labels. Now, in OpenShift, they have create a route inside of ingress controller. In Kubernetes, we create a ingress controller. If anyone want to access these port outside from the cluster then we create a ingress controller however in openshift they come up with one solution that is route this route is three type i will explain you so whenever anyone access this route it will forward the request to the service and this service will forward the traffic to these ports or applications now imagine that this route is created at the edge of the OpenShift cluster. Okay. Now this is my user, and he want to now he want to access the HTTP S traffic encrypted. So it sent the encryption to route. If this SSL certificate terminate at route, we call it route edge. Okay. And if user want that. I want to terminate this SL certificate directly on the pod so that all the traffic will be encrypted. So what we can do, we will forward all the requests to here. So this principle is called pass through termination. And the third type of route is called re-encrypt termination. What it does, it is same like route edge, but when it forward the traffic, it will re encrypt. So, first it receives the traffic which is SSL, terminate the SL traffic, and then re encrypt this traffic and send it to port. This is called re encryption termination. I hope it is clear what is route edge, pass through termination, and re encryption termination. So, let's proceed for the lab only for the route edge. In order to proceed this question, first we need to create a lab. So, this is the question lab that you need to copy and paste over there okay okay so my lab is completed so let's proceed with the question what is asks us to perform so protect external traffic with dls so here we need to create a secure route and it is not exactly mentioned in your question okay so you need to think about it First, you need to create a secure route in quad project. If the quad project is not available, then you need to create this project. After that, it says that end user traffic must decrypt at the router label. It means that we need to create route edge here in this question, right? And after that, it is asked us to expose the application HTTPS Anisha 2001.apps.ocean4.example.com. After that, generate the self signed certificate using the given subjects. You need to use this values. Note service already created in the given project. You must have to expose service with HTTPS and the application should produce the output. It means that at the end of this question, when you open this website, it should produce some output. Okay. Here also you, they will provide you one script to create this certificate. So you don't need to remember the open SSL command, but yes, it would be good if you remember these commands. So let's go to the OC project quad. Let's go inside this project. Although I have already in this project, but OC project. Now I'm in quad OC get all. Now I see that some applications are running here and, and the service is also created to do HTTP. Okay, and it is bound in 8080 and the route will is also showing me something here. Let me the route is also here and it is pointing to server1.example.com. It's okay. And it is to do HTTP service. Now the first thing first is that we can also curl this host name. 
control l curl and see that if it's working fine or not yes it produced the output it means that it is working fine however it is not for ssl right or we can use oc get route command to see the plane so it is forwarding to 8080 port number right now first we will going to delete this route so that we will create the route edge here it is simple route right so let me delete this route oc delete always use tab route and then route name now i have deleted this route now after that i need to create the private key csr and then certificate for that you will observe one script now let me execute this script and i believe that you need to copy paste everything whatever it is given in your exam like this you need to copy and paste everything do not write anything otherwise it will be a typo and if nothing is available then you just need to press enter blank after completing this step we need to create the route and the command would be oc create route edge right we are going to create the edge hyphen hyphen service and our service is to do to do or maybe let me close everything here let me clear the window here and ls and then oc get all now we are going to create the route and the command would be oc create route as per the question we need to create the edge right so just write edge hyphen hyphen service and the service name is to do http control shift c and control shift v copy paste after that hyphen hyphen key and the key name is server dot key you need to check what would be the name okay after that hyphen hyphen cert we need a certificate and the certificate file is dot crt don't use csr always use crt crt means certificate okay now after that you need to use hyphen hyphen host name and this is question it is asked us to use this one don't use https it will create by default https okay let me show you now hit the enter now our route is created we can check route command now we can see that this is the url it is mentioned in the question and it is and the service is exposed to to do http and the termination is edge that's great now we can open this with the help of https open another browser and then paste over here now here you need to use https colon colon slash slash this one and hit enter now click on advance accept the risk and continue and now i can see that our web page is working fine and if i click on this lock button click here connection not secure more information view certificate and all these values are showing here at the end you can validate that what is given in the question just validate everything is okay or not if you find anything bad then you need to delete the route edge delete these files and create again i hope it is clear now at the end you need to remove the lab for that you just need to copy and paste over the terminal so that you can practice this question again and again let me clear the window here and like this so now it is going to delete the route service deployment and the file that is created and then at then it will going to delete the project also so that you can perform this question again and again i hope it is clear now please like the video if you seriously like this content thank you very much bye bye